Investigators are trying to figure out what set off a deadly shooting spree in eastern L.A. County. Arrests have been made in that wild spree of violence that stretched all the way from Pico Rivera to Whittier, Santa Fe Springs, La Mirada, and Norwalk yesterday. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold has the latest on the investigation. And this story is still unfolding. Police say they have made an arrest, but they're not saying if the suspects they arrested were involved in yesterday's shooting spree. So far, we have five shooting locations, at least four people injured, and one person who has died. Honestly, I woke up and all I heard was a couple pops, and my brother ran inside the room. And he was like, I think those were gunshots. You could tell it was a gun that went off, like, um, it just they said like eight or nine times. Travis Lake is staying at this budget inn in Santa Fe Springs. It's the final location of a dramatic day long crime spree across several cities. This woman was too scared to show her face but says she saw everything that happened at the motel. I don't feel safe at all and even me and my husband we slept with the, the couch and that on the door last night but we don't want to be here. But Police say the crime spree started just after two in the afternoon Saturday when a man and a woman at least one of them with a gun carjacked someone in Pico Rivera. They took a green Nissan and ran. Police say they ended up in Whittier where two shootings took place. Then they left and went to Santa Fe Springs and La Mirada where police say three more shootings took place. At least four people were injured. 44 year old Jose Saquin died from the gunshots. They said that he, he was, had his family in the car with him. Um, they had him in the middle of the street. We could see the family off to the side. They were all crying. And Police say at around 6.30 in the evening, the stolen green Nissan was found empty in Mayberry Park. Then two hours later, Whittier police say they were called to the budget inn where yet another shooting had taken place. Police found two people, a man and a woman, in a stolen car. At least one of them had been shot. They were both arrested for Grand Theft Auto, and they both matched the description for the other shootings earlier in the day. And again, police saying that they have made an arrest, but they're not saying if those suspects are indeed involved in this shooting spree, only that the investigation is ongoing. In Whittier, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News.